guess where I'm at, folks? It's the land of cowboy boots, 10-gallon hats, and where breakfast burritos are preferred over sausage, biscuits, and gravy. I'm in Texas. Yeehaw! Oh man, look, my first class ride is showing up right now to take me to the new DFW repair facility for Global Electronic Services. Follow me there, come on. Here we are, the DFW Repair Facility for Global Electronic Services. Hey, let's see what's going on at our DFW Repair Facility right now. Come on. I want to get in there. Oh, yes, look at that. Hey, how's it going? Hey, you right. must be Freddie. I am Freddie. Is Keith around? Keith, you have a visitor. Hey, good morning, Freddie. Hey, good morning, Keith. I'm good. How yeah. are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing very well, man. Um, love this place. It is impressive, man. I love the signage. I actually, you know, I love the trees, give shade outside, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, also, um, it was easy to find, and it's only a few minutes from the airport. So being here, I know, you know, a lot about the experience in Beaufort, Georgia. Not sure much about your experience. I know you have a, a degree in uh, electronic technology from Texas A&M. Go Aggies. Um, and uh, I'm anxious to hear more about your experiences in the industry. Sure, sure. I've been in standards of calibration, system integrations, and I've even done some field service work. Since then, I've been in industrial electronic repair. Boy, sounds like you've done a lot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I'm anxious sir. to see the place. Hey, yeah, let's get started with the conference room. I didn't know somebody was in here. Oops. Sorry about that, man. <laughs> These guys never take a break. <laughs> Isn't that great? Welcome to our tech room, Freddie. Wow. This is a state-of-the-art repair facility. We repair all industrial electronics, hydraulics, pneumatics, and motors. You know, for our viewers who don't know, that means drives, power supplies, circuit boards, touch screens, servo motors, safety equipment, pumps, valves, cylinders, gearbox rebuilds, motor rebuilds and rewinds. I mean, there's really nothing we can't repair in an industrial manufacturing environment. Absolutely. Would you like to take a look at some of the things we're working on today? Of course I do, that's why I'm here. Let's Follow check me. It out. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Oh, hey, guys. You want to tell us what you're working on today? Sure. I'm working on a control unit for a lens of drive. I know right now that the uh, CAN bus is the problem. These caps need to be changed. The circuitry just needs to be checked. And just fire it up and uh, run a test. Excellent. That's great, man. Well, what else we got going on? I want to see it all. Follow me. As you can see, none of our technicians share equipment. Each bench is equipped with oscilloscopes, chip checkers, huntrons, ESR meters, variable power supplies, soldering equipment, and whatever else they might need. Yeah, that's great, because what that does is it allows us as a company to accomplish that one to five day standard turnaround time. And also, if you ever need a rush service, we can turn it around for you at no charge, mind you, in 24 to 48 hours. Uh, most other companies, they can't do that, and the reason they can't is because they have to share equipment between technicians and between their benches. Follow me. Hey, hold up. You gotta see this. It's the logo that everybody's talking about. Hey, Keith. I have a Kinetic um, 6000, and I'm getting ready to test. Would you care to look? Excellent. Uh, first of all, I want to let you know that I uh, repaired some things on here. And what I replaced was some modules, and I found some trace damage in which I repaired. So now I'm getting ready to uh, just hook it up, fire it up, and, and see what happens, okay? This is one of our custom engineered test stands that we use to fully function test the equipment. And it also allows us to fully replicate the equipment as it would be in the customer's environment. Okay, I'm gonna let this run for a while to make sure it has no errors or any other problems. After that, it'll be ready to ship. Thanks, John. Oh, hey, wait a minute, look at this. Hey, hey baby, how's up? it going? Good it's good to see, see you, man, long too, time. Man. Yeah, yeah man, it's great to see you in here as the head engineer. So, I mean, what we did is we actually permanently relocated Bayzod to Texas from our corporate repair facility in Georgia. And the reason we did that is so we can have the same exact quality that we have there here in Texas as well. And we're very lucky to have him. 
Thank you, man. Right now, I'm working in a three axis robots in here. I found the one bad motor in one of the axes and I send it to the motor shop. They fix it and send it back to me. I found another problem. Two bad home position sensor on that unit too. So I already fixed it. It's ready to go. We can ship it out today. The customer will be happy. So All right, cool. I look forward to Very it. Cool. That's, yeah, great. that's great. Happy customers what we look for, Bezad. Thank you for showing me that. And also, it is great to see you out here. Glad you're doing well. Thank you, man. So not only did we re permanently relocate one of our head engineers, we also permanently relocated one of our lead servo motor technicians. Hey, you know what? I know that guy right there. Hey, John. Hey, Brady. Good hey, to John. see you. Hey. How y'all doing? Doing yeah. well. So what you got going on, John? I've got a Reliance Electric six pole servo motor I just rebuilt. I'm getting my test cable and I'm gonna recheck my motor here on this uh, Mitchell Electronics. Uh, the bearings were bad. I had to replace the Renko encoder and I had to replace the uh, power connector. It was broke. And there you see how many different uh, settings we have for this Mitchell. Well, this motor, like some serial encoders, they run off of halls. And as I'm spinning the shaft, you'll see hall one, hall two, and hall three. They are on the encoder, they are counting. You can see them. So now we're going to go to the TI-3000. And the TI-3000 allows me to run this motor. The Mitchell TI-3000 will allow us to see the RPMs of what this motor is running at. If you'll see, I'm turning the motor down, and it's going to come to a complete stop, and it's back to OEM specs. Thanks, John. And in addition to Mitchell, we have various other test devices, such as Variax, Transformers, Growlers, Surge and High Pot Tester, and drives for running AC and DC motors. Cool. And of course, we have a variety of AC and DC motors that our technicians use in the first stage of drive testing. We hook the drives to the motors and watch the shaft spin. So the technician will select a motor appropriate to the size of the drive. This allows us to put a small load on the drive so that if something were to fail, like a transistor, it won't be quite so catastrophic to the drive. If you want to ensure that the repair is done right the first time, you have to have the ability to not only simulate, but to replicate the faults and errors that the equipment sees in its natural environment. And that's why we engineer these custom OEM test stands to fully function test your repairs. Man, that's great. This area, tied directly in with the tech room, is where we keep common failure components such as capacitors, resistors, diodes, and fuses, to name a few. These components are available for the technicians to freely grab. Great. The reason for this is that on our repairs, we don't just replace the failed part, but we try to replace every component that may be reaching the end of its life. Hmm. And then inside here, we have our specialty parts, you know, like your, uh, your SCRs, uh, your transistors, your LEDs, things like that would probably be stored here, is that correct? Yes. We have thousands of them. Okay, very good. Awesome. And this is our beautiful break room and kitchen. And down here, we have the restroom, which you might want to hit up before you get on that airplane. You know I will. Oh, hey, it looks like Bill's working on a Moog valve. Yeah, just finished up putting gaskets, O-rings in, and we're gonna go get it and pressure test it. Excellent. Oh, look, Bezod's testing a drive on the dyno. This is the second stage of drive testing that we were talking about earlier. Hey guys, this is our um, second stage uh, our testing and actually we are testing our drive on a dyno and we are testing in three different types of the frequency, low, medium and high frequency. And right now we are putting this uh, drive at least 30 minutes under the load for testing the uh, medium frequency and after that we are going to the high frequency and full load testing at least one hour and if it's good we are shipping to the customer. Hey, it's David, our operations manager. David is one of our Georgia employees who we permanently relocated to the DFW repair facility. And here's the thing, he's from Texas originally, so he's right at home. Good to see you, David. Good to see you too, Freddie. Tell us what's going on in receiving. We have the ability to receive all types of packaging, whether it comes parcel, freight, or the luxury of our global vans that we have. What we're able to do here is we're able to receive each item in by model number, by manufacturer, and by serial number into our SAP system. Once we receive it into SAP, it generates this unique barcode for us that we have the ability to track this item no matter where it's at in this warehouse at any time. 
Wow, that's great that we can put our hands on anybody's equipment at any time, right? That's exactly right. Well, man, that's we appreciate right. it. Thanks awesome. so much, and it's good to see you. Good again. to see you too, Freddie. All right, take Thank care. You, Dave. All right, This is our shipping department where we clean, do final inspections, and pack your repairs above carrier standards. We use peanuts, foam, anti-static bags, anything you require. You will find this in Georgia as well. Boy, I love seeing another successful repair going back to one of our customers. Keeps the manufacturer going. Man, Keith, I'm truly astonished at this place, man. It really is a nice repair facility. You know, versus a lot of other repair facilities or repair companies, they may only have one technician at that facility and definitely won't have the full load uh, testing capabilities that we have here. Mm -hmm. So that's why we feel it makes a difference to have two locations, one for the East Coast, one for the West Coast, so that we can service the, the West all the way over to the East of the entire country and world. And then also we have True 480, which is manufacturing power coming into our facility. You know, a lot of other companies, they have to use like transformers and other things to increase their power and we've already got it coming in. Also that Mitchell Electronics where we can realign the feedback device with the servo motors, awesome. The uh, test stands, man, we got the vans where we can pick up and deliver locally. People could come in and drop off equipment. And then showing me the dyno, testing that drive on the dyno. Bezod was showing that. Wow, that was incredible. Keith, thanks so much for the tour, man. What an impressive facility we have here in Dallas-Fort Worth. It's great that we have this location now to service our customers in the West, the Southwest, and anywhere in between. So thanks again, man. Great job. Now, now we're, we're in your, your backyard. backyard.